Și mergem acum mai departe. Chievul așadar este bombardat din toate părțile, iar în Mariupol numărul real al morților ar putea fi de 20 de mii. Sunt dezvăluirile făcute de consilierul ministrului ucrainean al apărării în exclusivitate pentru News Hour with CNN. Marchian Lubchinski vorbește despre armele folosite de ruși, de la bombe termobarice până la rachete cu fosfor. Toate încalcă orice tratat internațional. Haideți să vedem. Mr. Markian Lubkivski, thank you so much for your presence at Antena 2 Romania at News Hour with CNN. Thank you, Sergiu, for your interest. Thank you again for having me with you. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to all Romanian people, to your government for support of Ukrainian people in their fight for independence. So one more hot. Uh, night for Ukrainians and for my country. Uh, today is 20th day of our resistance, uh, of our defending of Ukrainian uh, land, Ukrainian people. So uh, Kyiv was bombed early this morning with the rockets. So due to information I possess at this time, three residential houses and one private house were hit. Two people killed. City of Mariupol is like New Aleppo. A lot of Ukrainian people are, are surrounded there. A Ukrainian army is trying to to protect them. And uh, due to information we we got from the ground, around 2,000 dead. But we are, we cannot confirm that. But we think that the number of people who were killed during invasion is much more higher. So yesterday, the advisor to the mayor of Mariupol told us that the number might be around 20,000 dead people in that area. In Kharkiv, is is also terrible. So about 600 residential houses were have been fully destroyed. 50 schools, a number of medical institutions, including maternity hospitals, were fully destroyed. So where they are destroying the parts from part to part of, of the city of Kharkiv. So yesterday also was the missile attack on the TV tower in the Rivne region. Uh, again, 19-19 people died and nine were wounded. During 18 days of Russia campaign in Ukraine, we lost 90 kids. 90 children were, were killed during that, that bloody campaign. So the uh, situation on the ground, is, is, uh, as, we, as we see, is, is really very hot. We saw many pictures uh, with uh, the explosions in uh, Ukraine. What information do you have from your intelligence uh, services regarding the Ru Russian weapons? What type of we weapons uh, do the Russian troops use? We heard about thermobaric uh, bombs, the phosphorus bombs. Yeah, they are using phosphorus bombs, ph phosphorus rockets. They are using munition which is not allowed due to international norms. So again, but nobody can be safe because of, of, of Russians' intention to use chemical weapons or even nuclear. So, so that's why we are, we are appealing to international community to stop them because of nuclear threat, which also should be analyzed and the, the risk the risks still exists. Mr. Lubkivsky, uh, several rounds of negotiation took uh, place, but there are only a few results. Uh, what should uh, you and we expect from uh, these meetings? The main thing which are trying to, to, to be sure that will be achieved, this is ceasefire and uh, safe corridors for refugees. Mr. Lubkivsky, we know that you are a career uh, diplomat. Uh, it, is it uh, possible for this world to reach uh, to some other countries also, to get here in Romania maybe? As I said already, uh, uh, nobody can be safe and nobody can be uh, feel uh, safe. So Romania need, needs to get ready for escalation as all neighboring with the Ukraine countries. Don't wait till Russia comes to Chisinau, start discussion with NATO partners now. Intention of, of Putin is not only Ukraine. After having Ukraine, he will try to, to aggressively attack uh, some other countries. And we, can, we cannot exclude that. Such countries as uh, uh, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, or even Poland or Romania, 
might be on, on, his, on his goal.